Okay, in this segment I've created a, a, a footprint of the house. This is just an extruded shape that is the footprint of the garage, the house itself, and the patio um, that's in there. And um, I'm going to use this as a um, uh, placement for the house once we put it in there. And I've got that right on the same, right on the ground, right on the same plane because we're going to connect driveways and everything else, patios, all kinds of shapes that we're going to draw in 2D and transfer it to 3D. And in this case, this line right in here is 802.7 or 803 around here in the elevation. We cannot build below that any part of the structure that would be considered in the floodplain for the 100 year flood. So I'm obviously everybody wants to be as close to the lake as possible. So I'm moving it down as close to this line as as within reason, kind of rotating it on contour, uh, nice views out this way. But also we want to get that angled garage uh, or that angle to get into the garage. And this is our minimum building line over here. So we're clear here, minimum body building line here, and we're clear there. Uh, and this is our minimum boundary here. So we're basically fitting that in. It looks about right. And of course, up above, 800 and some odd feet above, here's our site. Just painted it with a nice green vegetation, just a little, a little more loop real. So that's the first step that we're going to do. Um, now, uh, this being, I want to get the floor elevation, so, uh, and I want to get some reference points in. So this being um, the slab line here, uh, this is 802, 804. I want to build that up. I want to try it at 804 and see how that works out. So I'm just basically going to draw a line here that's 804 feet long. And I'm going to draw one here in this corner that's 804 feet. So when I then come up into the model up in here, you can see those are my two reference points that I want to rotate around to to fit um, the house model, the foundation model. So at that point, I'm going to go into my foundation model for this job that's already uh, referenced for the model and I'm oriented with the model. I'm going to orient the property to fit the model so that changing things later will be a lot easier because it'll be in the model space of, of the model itself. So um, I'm going to go into the um, foundation model and bring all this in. So basically I'm going to come over here and select every bit of this and I'm going to uh, copy this by control C. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, pause and open up the foundation plan. 